Hey everyone, Aaron here. So I wasn't going to make a video like this, but I decided kind of last minute to do something like this because I just wanted to talk to you guys and girls and kind of talk about what it feels like from this year going into next year and how life in general treats that transition uh, of our lives in general. Uh, you know, I want to say one thing is that I know I said this, I said some of this during my live stream, which was on Wednesday. I know a lot of people were there. I know some people, of course, were not there, but that's a two and a half hour stream. So I completely understand if you don't want to stay and listen to that for my words of wisdom, as people say. Um, so that's why I kind of wanted to make a side video and talk to you guys and girls directly about this. Uh, you know, in general, I'm, tr I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes. It should be under 10 minutes, hopefully, probably less than that, maybe more than that. But I will try to keep it a roughly around 10 minutes if I can do that. Uh, but the thing is that this year has been one hell of a ride, you know, it has been a thing where I think some people are really enjoying what's happening this year. They've had some great times happen to them. Maybe they got gifts, maybe they got into relationships, uh, maybe they lost relationships. So that's a negative spectrum of things. Maybe they lost a loved one. You know, the media, of course, has shown us a lot of people died in the terms of uh, the business industry and the media industry. Um, and the thing is, is that a lot of people in general have died this year, but also as with death, also a lot of people have been born this year, a lot of kids. And that's also in itself, you know, you take the positives away from that, where one life ends, another one is reborn and just starting, which is kind of cool. I always, I always try to look at it that way. You know, and by the way, I do apologize if it sounds like a sermon or a gospel type thing. I don't intend my videos to ever sound like that, but I know some people enjoy that about me once in a while. They go, oh yeah, we, we love hearing, you know, your words of wisdom, etc. Um, but that's just me talking, you know, I, I enjoy talking to you guys and girls and letting my heart go into my words it's why I always you know felt that I didn't want to show my face right away because I wanted my words to be the power in terms of what I was talking about you know reviews or videos or whatever commentary I made or whatever etc I wanted those to have precedent over my face because I know I'm glad a lot of you think very highly of me you know I'm very happy but I was kind of nervous about doing the whole face reveal but you know I didn't get any negative feedback all I got was positive stuff from you uh, stuff that I didn't even expect to hear from people and I was like wow that is amazing so I was very very happy and you know you have no idea like I wanted to cry a little bit I won't lie you know I'm one of those people I'll cry when something hits me emotionally and I've never had problems doing that um, I know it makes me a softy in many ways but I'm also you know I'm tough when I have to be tough but I think that you don't always have to be tough to handle every situation so you know going off from that though I, I thank you for that but you know with every new year people make you know this this thing of making um, new year's resolutions it's one of the most popular thing people want to do oh i, I want to strive to lose weight i want to strive to maybe find a relationship i want to strive to be uh, uh better at my job i want to do this or that and you know what i tell people a lot of times is i said you know for me the biggest thing for my new year's resolution i don't have a new year's resolution per se I don't believe in New Year's resolutions. I think that in a lot of ways, it's a thing that you shouldn't even try to do. What I believe you should do every year is try to make yourself a better person. And I know that maybe sounds like a resolution in itself. Fine, if you want to, if you want to make it into a resolution, fine. Say you want to be a better person. Now, this may seem very simple. This may seem like, oh, it has no focus or no actual edge to it. it you know, it sounds like a dull blade in the concept of wording, if I can think of a metaphor to give it. However. You know, when you have that concept of want to be a better person, you'd be amazed how much that can actually apply to. That can apply to, you know, living life in general and making sure that you get a promotion that you're trying to go for this year. Maybe you're starting a family. Maybe you have lost a little weight. Maybe you have gained some new friends. Maybe you have gained a, you know, positive relationship that was someone that you wanted to gain a positive relationship. Maybe you actually cut ties with someone that gave you a negative relationship. Maybe you, you know, cut ties with people that hurt you or, or have been physically abusing you, etc. You know, that is all making you a better person. You know, the simple concept of you maybe deciding, hey, you know what today I'm going to do? I'm going to go and give that person a compliment today. You know, some stranger or maybe someone you know. Hey, listen, man, you know, you look very good today. Hey, miss, you know, you, you, you have a very nice outfit. You look cute, etc. These are words of empowerment in more ways than one. People don't realize how a simple word phrase can hold within it so much power to make someone super happy, but at the same time on the negative spectrum of it, to make someone super negative, to ruin someone's day completely by saying, you know, you're an idiot, or to say something hurtful to someone, or to say you're hated by someone, or you, you know, not to say someone you're loved by someone, etc. These are words that hurt people. So for me, you know, I've at least when I when I started getting more and more into thought, more into details of me as a person and whole. I decided, you know what, I'm not doing news resolutions anymore. I want to do this resolution. I want to be a better person for the next year. And, you know, I know that this video probably won't get hundreds of views, probably won't even get like 20 or 30, whatever. I'm not worried about that. What I want to do is I want to make sure that you guys and girls understand one thing. You know, just be a better person. 
if the new year starts off and you've had a horrible, horrible year this year, you know, strive to be a better person. And, you know, it, it comes with so many other things. Like, you know, just being a better person has so many different, like, embodiments to it. You could just maybe help pick up trash off the street for one day, and that in itself is something amazing. Maybe you can go help out at a, at a, a shelter. Maybe give a dollar to a homeless person that you feel like needs that dollar. You know, these are all little simple things that, guess what? Realistically, they may not seem like a lot, and it might not seem like a lot to a lot of people. But the real man and the embodiment of it is that that action holds in itself something grandiose. It is something that will change the life of someone without you realizing it. Even if it's a little bit tiny, tiny speck of life changing moment, it will alter that person's life somehow. Because they will go back and think, you know what? I saw that they that this guy picked up trash off the ground. Maybe I want to do that. So you maybe maybe you taught some kid the lessons of not littering on the floor to make your place actually look beautiful in your neighborhood. Maybe by giving that homeless person a dollar, maybe he used that dollar to help someone else out, or maybe he it put food in his stomach to help him last another day. You know, people forget how just a small action really does have so many powerful effects. And in the and like I said, the negative spectrum is doing opposite of those things. It, it really can kill someone, hurt someone really bad. You know, as someone that was bullied my whole life, I understand more than I think a lot of people do the concept of being neutral when it comes to a lot of things because I don't want to bully other people. You know, I've gotten mad at people. Don't get me wrong. Listen, I'm not, you might hear a nice person all the time, but it doesn't mean that I don't get my times of moments of, you know, anger, frustration, you know, confusion, etc. Because everyone's like that. There's no single person on the face of this planet Earth that is not like that. You know, even people that are a certain way of thinking aren't like that fully because that's something that every person has emotion-wise. There are people who have different versions of emotions, like you may have muted emotions in terms of like maybe you're not one to fall in love with someone very easily or maybe you're one to not to really get angry very easily. Yeah, you have a muted emotion, but that emotion is still there nonetheless. It's still embodied in you. And that's been proven by science. That's been proven by life in general. But the thing is, is that, you know, th you're not kinda, I kind of got off tangent with that, but I'm still actually in the realm of what I'm trying to talk about here is that you as a person, you know, really have so much more to give than what I think people realize you can give out to people. And as someone, like I said, who was bullied a lot, I understand the concept of, like I said, being neutral because it really does have an effect on people. To not just take sides at someone, you know, seeing someone say some comment or something like that. To listen to people, to help out as much as I can. I know people say, hey, you know, you help out a lot of people. And I'm like, yeah, because I, it's not because I, you know, per se, I'm trying to help a lot of people. It's more so because I'm here to listen to you. You know, I always tell people in my comments and I tell people in my videos, hey, listen, if you ever need to talk about something, you could feel free to talk to me. And the thing is, I'll say this right now, maybe if you haven't heard it in one of my videos, I haven't said it in every single one of my videos, you know, that's that's odd enough in itself. I've said that in every one of my videos, but I've said that before in other videos. But if you ever need to talk to me, hey, you can put it in the comments below, you know, maybe I need a message, you miss me on Twitter if you feel like it's more personal or whatever. And I will try to respond to it. I will try my best to help you out because I'm not afraid to do that. I'm, I like helping people. I like people being happy. That's something I've always strived to be. I, I just told my friends that actually, because I don't really tell too many people that, that I strive to help other people. Because people right away go, I don't understand that. How can you strive to help other people? That's weird. For me, my own happiness comes from making other people happy. It's why I am so happy that, in general, that my YouTube channel is doing what it's doing because I know a lot of you have had bad days or horrible days in general and then maybe watch one of my videos and got happy. And I'm like, wow, that's that's great. Or you say a comment to me and go, oh, you know, you really made my day. And I'm like, wow, I'm gl glad I did that because that means I'm trying to do what I set out to do is to help people out still, even though I'm making videos about anime reviews and anime commentary, etc. You know, it, it really is something awesome to see that I'm lighting some people and making them happy or, or even taking a bad day, just kind of making them better. And, you know, that's why I said that, you know, really be careful of your words to people. Be careful of your actions to people because you really don't realize. You might think it's a joke. You might think it's funny. And people might laugh with you. Go, haha, that's funny. That's a great joke, whatever. But you don't know what that does to the other person because that really, that little simple joke really can't set someone off. It really hurt their feelings. It really destroyed their emotions. And, you know, I'm not naming that at any one person. That's not aimed at any of you in particular. I'm not aiming that at any of my friends or any of my... No, I'm just naming that in just general. That, you know, simple things can really, really have great and powerful effects. And it's scary that people don't realize that in this day and age. But it's becoming, I think, more of a, you know, as the, as the years go on because of the technology and various other, you know, kind of nuances of life in general, people are getting more disorientated in terms of how they're supposed to handle situations and how they're supposed to handle other people in general. And it's being scary because I think that the, the age of technology has kind of 
caused a lot of that, to be honest with you. I'm not saying it's the only cause of it. No, by any means. Because every year, every, if you look at a decade or any type of year, if you look at the 1900s or the 1800s or 1700s, etc., you will see that people have changed and thought the same thing the previous year. Oh, this has happened, so now more of this is happening, etc. No, that's that's just how it goes. Everything, Every time life it always changes to something else, it kind of changes dramatically in terms of how people perceive other people, etc. But what I mean by that is that, you know, it's that people are now behind keyboards and can think that they could say whatever they want to say and type in a million messages to someone and hurt their feelings and it's like oh that's okay they'll get over it but they really won't they'll see those messages and lose power and you know take those comments and be like oh wow that's that's kind of rude and hurtful and that's why you know to me I, i've never had a problem going hey you know what you say a stupid comment in the comments box below i'll delete it i have no problem doing that I blo i'll block it i'll report you if i have to because that really does affect people and it affects me too. I'm not. I'm not 100% immune to it. I'm not bulletproof. I have. I have a tough skin. I really do. People don't realize that because I. I don't show people that how tough my skin is when it comes to like handling situations like that. But the thing is, is that I because I don't want you. I don't want anyone in particular to know what my strengths and weaknesses are to a fault. Like I want myself to know that. I know what my strengths and weaknesses are. What triggers me. What doesn't. And I want to keep it that way because I think when someone knows what weakness you have, they go right away try to push the buttons to see if they can really piss you off and upset you. But, you know, this is a new year, folks. This is a new year that's coming up in less than two days. It's like, I think it's not even 24 hours, not 24, not even 48 hours, less than like 30 something hours, maybe 40 something. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not that great with math. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I want you guys and girls to know that, listen, next year, 2017, make yourself a better person and you'll be amazed how much that changes your life. Go out for that job interview. Go out and help someone out. Go talk to someone if you need help for something. You know, be, be fearless in the sense of being smart about it. Be fearless in the sense that, hey, I'm willing to do change because it, it will make my life better. Not because it will hurt me, but because it will make my life a better person. Go and do what you feel like you need to do in life to make yourself better and to make yourself happy. You know, if you get happy from doing something, as long as it's not hurting your body, it's not hurting your mind, then there's nothing wrong with that. If it's not hurting other people, that's fine. You know, I think people need to seek happiness. I think people forget that they see, they, they earn happiness and they deserve it. I'm just saying that, you know, this year coming, 2017, is going to be a whole new year. This is a fresh start for you guys and girls to do whatever the hell you want. Take it. You know, take it. I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be looking for a job. I'm going to be making sure that I continue to be a better person because pe people say, oh, you're a great person. I, I think I am a decent person. I do. I never think I'm a great person. I always strive to become a great person because to me, what you think you what you are, what, you, what people say, like, oh, you're excellent. You're this or that. You've hit your, you've hit your maximum. And that's not a good way of being. You have to make sure that, hey, there is no limit to how good I can be as a person or how strong I can be as a person because that's what sets your bounds and then will set you to, to only stay in that kind of realm of safety. You always want to push it. Push it, get stronger, get faster, get harder, get better. You know, the, the song from Daft Punk says it best. It's ironic enough, but that song really does get harder, better, faster, stronger. You know, those things can be applied to you. Become better. And I will pray for all of you. I know, uh, you know, I know a lot of people aren't religious, but I am a religious person by nature. You know, I, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. And I've never been afraid to say that. I know some people castrize you people on the internet saying that, but I've never been afraid to say that. And I will never, ever be afraid to say that in any public venue. Um, because of that, what I want to do as a person is I want to make sure that I am being the best person I can be, but at the same time, making sure that I help other people when they need help. And for that reason, I want to make this video for that reason. I want other people to listen to these words. Maybe not, you know, if it only gets 20 views, if it gets 30 views, whatever. I may have said that already. I don't know what take I am of this saying this, but if I said that already, you know, you understand what I'm trying to do here. I just want to talk to you guys and girls. So that's why I hope to God, I pray for every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. I really do. That I hope that all of you have a wonderful year coming. You know, this year was, this year's over top to tomorrow. And, you know, even tomorrow, we don't know what will happen, but... When 2017 starts, and if you're around, guess what? It's another year for you to start doing whatever you want to do. And you know, don't think of the end goal. Don't think of anything like that. Think of just today. Think of what you are going to do today to make yourself better for tomorrow. Because tomorrow may not happen, but today is happening right now. You know, within the hours, the, se the seconds, the minutes, that's happening. And you're alive for it. So whatever you're doing, that's going to embody you for the next day. So... <laughs> 
I hope it didn't sound too gospely. I hope it didn't sound, you know, like too much like a sermon. I know some people said that before, but you know, I, I don't care. That's how I want to make this video. I will wish you guys and girls a blessed, blessed day. I will wish you guys and girls a blessed new year. Hopefully your dreams and aspirations, aspirations, excuse me, I said aspirations. I don't know what aspirations is. <laughs> aspirations become amazing. I really do hope greatness from all of you. Have a great, great day, everyone. Have a great, great new year, everyone. I love you all. Bye-bye.